Welcome back. Well, we are still digging our way out of 2020, slowly but surely. Audie the cat is two feet away from me. Um, I'm in his chair, so he's crawled into my chair. We'll see how long that lasts. Today, I thought we would take a look at some self-affirmations. Now, I know a lot of you are just going to dismiss this and say, well, that's just foolishness. These are just stupid little slogans you say to yourself that have no meaning. Well, you know, nothing could be further from the truth on this because what you tell yourself has a way of becoming your reality. And this is not something you should take my word for. The fact is there have been many, many medical as well as psychological studies that have borne this out. So when we come back. So, as usual, I, I and you know, I do research before I do these videos. I dug around to see if I could find a good batch of these little self-affirmations. Now, the thing with self-affirmations is they work differently for each of us. What you need is what you need to hear. So, if I have a half a dozen little things that I say to myself to boost myself up when I'm feeling low. That's what will work for me. It doesn't necessarily work for you. Yeah, maybe it will, but you need your own batch. So I have a list of over a hundred. I'm going to link them in the video notes. That's the notes just below the video so that you can go to this page grab them yourself, print out the list. You can read it online. You could read the hard copy. You've printed out for yourself. You can come back to this video however you want to access it. But what the people who prepared this list have suggested is that you just grab two or three of these each day and use them. Say them to yourself, play around with them, etc. What I thought we would do to get started is go through the complete list. And I've broken them up into, you know, little bite-sized chunks. And I thought we'd talk a little bit about them. I'll tell you the ones that resonate with me, the ones that I wish would resonate with me. You choose the ones that resonate with you. And then if you can find a nice little batch of solid self affirmations. What I'd like you to do now, of course, I'd like you to find that little batch first, but what I'd like you to do with them is give it a try. You don't have to do anything special. You don't have to stand on your head or light a candle or draw a pentagram in the middle of the kitchen. No, just try saying them to yourself once in a while throughout the day see if it helps. Studies show that it will because I, I hate to call this like self-hypnosis or neuro-linguistic programming. Every new age Wahoo has a different term for it. But what we tell ourselves, the messages we put out there and that get seized back into our brains that's how we start to define our reality. It's just that simple. If you wake up every morning and say, oh, Lord, I'm a loser. You know what? In a few months, you're going to actually become a loser. You are going to lose your will to improve, your will to succeed, your will to become a good person. You are going to see yourself through that negative lens. 
And I think it's important that we see ourselves through a positive lens. Because what this does is this addresses one of the most difficult aspects of our lives that had that negative 2020 impact. And that is our emotional well-being. It's very, very hard for us to find concrete ways to feel better about ourselves. But this is one of them. So let's get started with our list. As I say, I'm going to grab them in small bites and we'll look at them in the tiny digestible chunks. So let's start with, I love myself. The world has a need for me. I am unique. I can and I will do things to promote healing in my life. I can handle this one step at a time. The sun is shining. I am ready to take on another day. My problem has a solution. I will work on a plan. I am a survivor. I refuse to give up because I haven't tried all the possible ways. I will inhale confidence and exhale doubt. So that's like 10 of them. The first 10 off the list, I haven't grabbed them in any particular order, just as they came off the list. Now, I know that there are some of you who are going to say, oh, I know Sue's. Yes, it's one step at a time baby steps. And we as a society say that in so many different ways. Rome wasn't built in a day. Put one foot in front of the other. I believe that was John Wayne. Like seriously, I do believe that was John Wayne. And you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Sometimes when we look at the world, things just seem so big and so overwhelming and we're never going to fix it because it's too much. You have to remember, one little step at a time. So that was the one from the list that resonated with me. You may choose other ones. And, and please do, just because something works for me doesn't mean it will work for you. This is an exercise in finding the path that's right for you. What do you need to hear from me? I need to hear baby steps. I need to hear back away. Don't try to take it all on at once. Baby steps. Because one of my biggest flaws as a person is I see something and I want to, it's like I want to fix every broken chink and crack immediately. It's not how life works. So I need to constantly tell myself one step at a time. Slow down. You may need to hear something different from that list. So, oh, and there are plenty more. If you didn't find something in those first 10, stick around. We're far from done. All right. Next up, I may be one in seven billion, but I am also one in seven billion. I am smart. I believe I can change the world, or at least my little corner of it. I am important. Today, I will celebrate me. I matter. I can find peace through prayer and meditation. I am strong. My confidence is beautiful. I am imperfect, but I'm perfectly me. Well, again, I have my little favorite in there. Um, and no, it's not I'm smart, because smart is overrated. No, it's not I'm strong, because strong is also overrated. Uh, some of these things are just utterly astounding uh, in that we, we think certain things are important in our lives, but ultimately they're not. They're not. Smart's overrated, strong's overrated, 
for me. It's, I don't need to change the whole world. I just need to worry about my little corner of it. Of course, that goes back to the first baby steps. Sometimes you can look at things that can be so overwhelming, such a big job. I don't need to make peace in the Ukraine. I do not need to feed the starving of Central Africa. I need to make sure my little corner of the world is okay. And if that means taking care of my cat today, well, Adi will be pleased to hear that because he thinks that's the only thing that should matter in my life. But if that's all it's going to be today, well, that's all it's going to be today. And I need to content myself with that. So that's the one that resonated with me. Again, you probably have others that resonate with you. And as I say, that's good. If you don't think smart is overrated, grab that one. If you don't think strong is overrated, grab that one. Just because it doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. So let's check out some more of these. My smile can make someone feel better. I choose to focus on what I can control. Everything will work out in the end. If it hasn't worked out yet, it's not the end. I am happy with who I am. Every day, in every way, I am becoming better and better. I am a good person. I keep going because I believe in myself. I choose to see the good in the people I interact with today. It is always too early to give up on my goals. I can reach out for help if I need it. Well, in that particular little batch, for me, as I'm sure you've probably figured out right now, I need to worry about the stuff I can control. I need to stop focusing on the, the overwhelmingly big picture. You know, hey, there are probably storms on Mars. Is it my problem? No, it isn't. So for me, the messages I need to feed myself are, you know, look at the smaller picture. Stop looking at the big stuff. For others, it may in fact be exactly the opposite. You may need to get away from the teensy tiny little minutia and look at the bigger picture and see the impact you're having on a broader stage. And again, you choose what works for you. And just because something works for me doesn't mean that this is what's going to work for you. So let's get back to our little list here. I am special. I will not change myself for anyone. Ooh, words to live by. I choose hope. The answer is right before me, even if I do not see right now. I am thankful for and fill in the blank. I choose to take good care of myself. I accept myself. I can make a difference. My path does not define my future. I do. My life is filled with possibility. I refuse to be pushed by my problems. I will be led by my dreams. Well, see, that one is a difficult list. One of the things that I do take out of that list and I do use is I am thankful for what I have. I understand that I am a very privileged person. And I've understood that all my life. When I was very, very young, my grandmother said to me, do you know how lucky you are to live in an age where the doctor can fix whatever was wrong with me at the time? I don't remember. The doctor can fix this. 
I needed some penicillin. It was there. It was available to me. And that was a teachable moment for me. I don't imagine I was more than eight or nine years old. Teachable moment. Um, that's when you are receptive to what is being said to you. Sometimes you'll hear the same message over and over and over again. But if it's not your teachable moment, it bounces right off you. That one sunk in. So ever since I was a small child, uh, I don't, you're gonna, I'm going to tell you this and you're going to think, oh my God, you are no fun. I really was a dull little kid. I would sit around and think about all of the things that I had that little boys and girls in the Victorian era didn't have, that little boys and girls in the Middle Ages didn't have, that little boys and girls in ancient Rome didn't have. And I, I'd like to think that I have always been grateful to be who I am and where I am, because there are so many worse places I could have shown up in the overall scheme of things. So I like to think that, that I have that sense of gratitude. I probably don't have as much as I should. Because, let's face it, privileged world, privileged life, and think about it. Penicillin. Oh my goodness, I'm so grateful for that. Um, so many things that there but for the grace of God go I. No. Although I also have to say there is so much more on that particular short list that I could really, really benefit from. So that, that little bit of 10 self-affirmations is something I'm going to take a look at and see if maybe there are others I can pull into my life. Because I am thankful for is something that, as I say, a lesson I learned a long, long time ago. Never, ever take this for granted. This is too wonderful too amazing, too incredible for us to look at this and say, oh, well, what is it? Oh, great, we can turn on a television. Turn on a television? Wow. Can you imagine what our great-great-grandparents would have made of that? It would have been like the voice of God coming to them. We have a lot to be thankful for. But as I say, there's much more on that little list that I think I could benefit from. So I'm going to take a look at that. All right. I am awake and ready to be awesome. I will focus on my talents. I have things to share with the world. I choose to have the strength to move on to healthier relationships. I deserve good things in life. I release myself from my anger. I love who I am. I will allow peace to fill my soul. Today is a new day. I will see what adventure it holds. I will choose to be proud of myself. I will do my absolute best in all things. Well, I don't know. The only one on that list that really struck me, that really stood out, is uh, I will choose healthier relationships. Um, and that's one that I do say to myself, I need to make better choices. Um, uh, it's the social worker in me. I am drawn to troubled people. I really am. Uh, that's where my skill set is, in helping troubled people. But I need to remember that that was my professional life. In my personal life, I need to make better choices. So I think that's one that I am just going to pull out and start saying to myself, I need, I need to make better choices. I need to make my personal choices based on what's good for me rather than make them on what my skill set can do for other people in my personal life. 
because yeah, that's it's kind of a problem. So I need to work on that. And I was very glad to have found something like that in these little affirmations. You know, somewhere I can just move forward a little, find something new to add to my little repertoire and make myself feel a little better at the end of the day. I am going to at least promise myself that I will do better. And that's the start. I will speak kindly to others and to myself. I will choose to be brave and tell others if I need their support. I have the power to control my reactions to the challenges I will face. I am becoming healthier each and every day. I choose to see each obstacle as an opportunity to grow. I will step out of my comfort zone and try something new today. I am a success. I can make this a great day. Note to self, you are amazing. I can control my breathing. I will stay calm. It will get better. That one is pretty good. Um, I like the whole, I will control my breathing. Because for a lot of us, especially those of us who are plagued by anxiety, that can be a real issue. And that, if you have anxiety issues, I think that's one that you should look at throwing into your daily affirmations list. I can control my breathing because that is key to overcoming anxiety. Um, I didn't find anything in that particular list that struck me as either valuable or something that is one of my fallbacks. So I'm going to have to move on to the next list, I'm afraid. But again, we got plenty more. I allow myself to forgive. It will allow me to move beyond the pain to a place of peace. Okay. Looks like that one should have been in the previous list because I definitely need to work on that one. I choose to make today amazing. I choose to let the past go and move on to the future. Today, I will be courageous. I release all fear from my mind. I can reach my goals. I am unstoppable. I am ready to write a new chapter for my life. I will take the time to notice and be thankful for the little things. I can write down my thoughts and take control of my emotions. I am a child of God. I need to work on forgiveness. I do. I need, oh, see, there's, there's a whole bunch of them in there that I really should haul out and just, you know, write it on a piece of paper, a post it, stick it on the refrigerator, and so I can look at it. Well, I look at every, stick it on my computer screen, boy. That's something I do look at all the time. But yeah. So I think that another way to use this list is not just as affirmations, but to look at it honestly and objectively and say, gee, are there things I ought to be working on? So you take a look and see if that one works for you too. My hard work is already paying off. I am thankful for life. I choose to be happy. I accept the good that is flowing into my life. I will not allow anxious thoughts to steal my joy. Today, I forgive myself. My body knows how to get better. I will listen to it and rest when needed. I am stronger than my worries. I am not the only one who struggles. I choose to be kind to everyone that I meet. Yesterday was a bad day, not a bad life. Hmm. Well, very interesting. Um, 
I choose to be happy all the time. I think that's one of the reasons I am happy, because for me it is an act of choice. Uh, I wake up in the morning and say, well, I'm a happy person. I self-define as a happy person. So if somebody comes up to me and says, are you happy? I say, yes, I am. Here's the thing. I say that even on days when I am not. Even if there is a day when I am not feeling really happy, really at peace with the world, perfectly contented, no problems, no rain clouds in the sky. If you ask me if I'm happy, my answer is still going to be, oh yes, I am happy. And that's a choice. Um, I think that's a choice we all have to make. We all have to say to ourselves, am I happy or am I, well, for me, it's, for me, my choice, I made it very black and white. I am either happy or I'm miserable. So if somebody says to me, are you happy? Of course, I'm going to say, yes, I'm happy. Because my alternative, the only one I gave myself was miserable. So I, I learned to do that a long, long, long time ago. And that's one I would really throw out to you as an option because it did work for me. It didn't work the first day I did it. It didn't work the second day, but it did work. In time, it worked. I am happy. Why? Because I tell myself I am. I have convinced myself I am happy. And it's not as if this happiness is not real. It certainly is real. It's very real. I truly am happy. But I had to make the choice to define what I was feeling as happiness. I could have just as easily defined it as misery, but I chose not to. So that's my little piece of advice there. Today will be better. I am braver than I feel. While I wait for the storm to pass, I will choose to dance in the rain. By the way, I love that one. I am stealing that one right now. I am loved. I will remember it. Often difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. There is more to life than this moment. I choose to keep moving forward. I am capable of bringing my dreams to life. I am okay. I am breathing. I am alive. I am capable of achieving great things. I light the world with my spot. Mock that. Try that again. I light the world with my smile. So, yeah, for me, while I wait for the storm to pass, I'll dance in the rain. I do like that. I really do. It's, and we have so many ways of saying that, too. When life hands you lemons, make lemonade. We really can reframe the way we look at the situation. And in so doing, we can reframe the situation. So I think there was some good advice in there. And I do think a couple of those affirmations are going to stick with me. My spirit is beautiful. I make a difference in the world. I allow myself to take a break and do something I enjoy. I can show kindness to others. I'm not sure what will happen tomorrow, but I'll take care of myself so I am strong enough to face it. I choose to approach my problems with a calm heart and mind. I trust myself. I will do my best with whatever comes my way. I have a purpose that I am fulfilling. I will listen to that whisper of hope that says, you can do it, try again. I can change my life. I will learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. So, 
I don't know about you folks, but I think that was a great batch of messages to be sending to ourselves. And the way it works is just grab a couple, two or three maybe, and try sharing them with yourself every day. Just look in the mirror and say, I'm amazing. So look in the mirror and say, the world is waiting for me today. And if you can feel better about yourself, about who you are, and I really want you to, because I feel fantastic about you. So, oh, here's a new one. Here's mine. Just write this one down. Sue says I'm fantastic, and Sue is smart. There you go. Now, see, if you won't trust your own little voice, you can trust mine. You are fantastic. If we keep giving ourselves positive messages, we are going to have positive feelings about ourselves. If we give ourselves negative messages, if we look in the mirror and say, you can't do it, this is more than you can handle, you're not good enough, pretty soon we're not going to be able to handle anything and all we're going to be hearing is, you're not good enough. So let's try to flip that switch and turn it the other way. Now, the reason I wanted to start with this is because I want to move into something tomorrow, but we need to be into a good headspace to move into what we're going to tackle tomorrow. So let's see if we can try this. Take a look at the list, grab a few things, give it a try. Remember, you're only as happy as you allow yourself to be, really. All right, we're going to take a look at a slideshow on the way out. I will see you tomorrow, and in the meantime, have a terrific day.